Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video guys, I will show you that how can you manage users in WordPress. Suppose guys, I have a WordPress website and I don't have enough time to work on it. So I will create new users who will work on my website on my behalf. So I can provide them different different roles. So firstly, I will uh, give you some introduction about the role, that roles. The first role will be administrator, somebody who has access to all the administration features within a single site, means a person who can access all the website, means he can access the dashboard, he can uh, change the theme, he can add the plugins, he can delete the plugins, he can do everything, he can add new users as well. The next one will be editor, somebody who can publish and manage posts including the post of other persons or other users means a person who can create delete update his post and others posts as well means he can work on other posts uh, other uh, users posts as well next one will be author somebody who can publish and manage their own post means a person who can only work on his post he can't do anything with his uh, other post the next one will be contributor contributor somebody who can write and manage their own post but cannot publish them a person who can write post or manage post his post but he cannot publish them firstly the editor or administrator will view that post after that he will publish the post of uh, the uh, he will publish the post which is written by the contributor the last one will be subscriber somebody who can only manage their profile means who can manage his profile only like he can change his email address uh, to which the emails will be sent from this website or he can change his first name or last name so you can create new user you need to go to user and click on add new firstly you need to enter the username rishik uh, i will write rishik at gmail.com first name last name website if i will link the field this field blank and you need to enter the password here now, if you want to send this password via email address, so you need to check on this checkbox and after that you need to select the role, which role you want to provide to it. If you want to make it a person and editor, you need to click on editor and click on add new user. So you can see a new user has been created. You can see check his role, his role is editor. So guys, in this way you can man uh, create new users who will work on your website on your behalf so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see the next tutorial